Hello friends, this video on ecosystem part 22 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The phosphorus cycle looks like. Now as I said, the natural reservoir of phosphorus is the, are the rocks. So here phosphorus is present in the form of phosphates. Now what happens to these phosphates? Now when these rocks weather, you understand weathering of rocks, that means when the rocks break down, then some amount of phosphorus dissolved in the soil solution because when rocks break down, soil formation takes place. So some amount of phosphorus will get dissolved, phosphorus in the sense phosphates. So some phosphates will get dissolved with the soil solution. Now this soil solution will then be absorbed by the producers that is the plants because plants where do, where are they planted they are on the soil so they tend to absorb the dissolved phosphates from the soil so that is how the phosphates dissolved in soil solution can be utilized by the producers of the ecosystem. So that is one part. Now the roots absorb the phosphates from the soil solution and that is how different parts of the plant get it. Now when the plants get it, so the plants become a good source of phosphorus. Now when animals eat those plants, because animals are directly or indirectly dependent on plants. So what happens? The animals also get it. So here you have the consumers. So consumers are nothing but the animals. Whether they are herbivores or carnivores or top carnivores, they are directly or indirectly dependent on plants. So from plants, these phosphorus reaches the consumers. Now when these consumers die or even when the producers die, where do they go? They become detritors. That is, they become dead and decaying matter and they are acted upon by the decomposers. So in this way, it reaches the decomposers also and decomposition of this, the, the decomposers that is the bacteria and fungi when they act on these detritors which contain phosphorus, it, it causes complete breakdown and that is how it comes back to the soil. So it all, the story started from the soil and it came back to the soil. So that is how the phosphorus cycle takes place. So this is how so phosphorus gets exchanged between lithosphere, biosphere and hydrosphere. So here you saw this was lithosphere, this was biosphere where plants and animals are involved. And what is hydrosphere? Now there are many aquatic animals as well. Whenever you talk about soil solution, it is not necessary that soil solution is present only on the land. It is also present in the aquatic life. At the bottom of the oceans also you have soil. So that is how it gets exchanged between these three spheres. So do you see any role of atmosphere here? No, not really. So that is why atmosphere was not included in the components which participate in phosphorus cycle. So with this we learned about two cycles that is carbon cycle and phosphorus cycle. Now that we have discussed both of them, let us quickly have a comparison between carbon cycle and phosphorus cycle. Now in carbon cycle, it involves a respiratory release of carbon into the atmosphere. But here in phosphorus, there is no respiratory release. There is no involvement of atmosphere as well. So in carbon cycle, atmosphere plays an important role. In phosphorus cycle, atmosphere doesn't play a significant role. In carbon cycle, a considerable exchange of carbon dioxide between organism and environment. You would have seen that plants take in carbon dioxide during photosynthesis. They give out carbon dioxide during respiration. Again, animals give out carbon dioxide during respiration. So a lot of exchange happens between environment and organism. But in case of phosphorus cycle, nothing like that happens. It just gets part, it just gets inside the organism. It remains inside the organism. For example, in plants, it reached the plants through the roots. It remained there. When the plants were eaten up by some animals, it went inside the animals. So there was no exchange as such between the organism and the environment. So negligible exchange of phosphorus between organism and the environment. So these are quite a few differences between the concept of carbon cycle and phosphorus cycle. Thank you. Please visit www.examfeo.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.